First days in Poland are quite a challenge. A new country, new people, different language environment, and many more procedures and deadlines related to your studies. Usos, class registrations, tokens, class exchange, oguns, language courses, and PE classes. Hey! Oh, hi! So, how will I know what to do? It's easier than you think. I can show you how it all works in less than 15 minutes. Wow, it sounds like plan. Let's do it. Everything starts from USAS, University Student Oriented System. It's the online heart of our university where you can take care of almost all the matters related to your studies. Thanks to USAS, you can check your schedule and assessments and enroll for your classes and also submit your applications. Okay, but how can I log in? Go to the website www.usosweb.uvu.edu.pl as your username and password, use the ones received from the student office at your faculty. It may happen that you will not be able to enter the system because your account has not been created yet. In such a situation, contact your student office and ask when you will get access to USOS. Okay, I'm on USOS. What's next? Can I register for the classes? Take it easy, we'll learn the functionality of USOS first. Some faculties have their own USOS pages, which enable you to register for core courses. To make sure if you should use a faculty's USOS, contact your student office. But let's get back to how it all looks like. The first step is news. The second one is directory. Here you can easily find a specific building, university unit or a teacher. Then there is my USOS web tab. This is where you will see your plan, check with subjects and groups you are registered to and who is attending classes with you. Thanks to USOS, you can easily contact your friends. In this tab, you can also personalize the USOS and define privacy settings. The most important tab is Student section. This is where you will find important information about your studies. Registrations button shows the list of registrations available for you in the coming semester, while the Final Grades button helps you see all the grades you have achieved. This feature is especially important at the end of the semester. At the beginning of each semester, you should pay attention to the linkage button. The idea is to link your registered class groups to your field of study or a stage, for example, a year or a semester. Linkage is necessary to successfully get a credit for classes in your study program. Thanks to the functions which are in the student section, you can Submit applications regarding your studies online and receive a response to your application. Check the bank account number to pay your fees. If you receive a scholarship, this tab will inform you when you will get your installments. Everyone likes to receive feedback, so after finishing your classes, you can use the Surveys tab to give your opinion about the lecturer and a course. The other important tab is Common section. Here you can update your personal data, upload a new photo, and submit an application for a place in the student dormitory. I didn't know there is too many things can be checked and done by the USOS. Let's go back to the registration for all classes. Can I register for all my classes using the registration button in the student section? Um, not really, only for your study program score ones. It may actually happen that the first-year students at your faculty are automatically registered for the classes. Nevertheless, it's worth uh, knowing how to register for the classes because these are universal rules for all the USOS registrations. First of all, you have to know that there are phases when you can register for the classes. So you have to register at a good time. I advise you to sign up immediately when the registration phase is opened because sometimes class groups become full in a few seconds. In the Student Sections tab and further in the Registrations button, you will find registrations for your major subjects and for individual class groups. Click Show subjects related to this registration to see what courses you can choose from. How to do it? Click on the basket with the green arrow in the line of a certain course. You can also unsubscribe from the class in the same place. A basket with a red arrow will appear here. If the phase for a given registration is finished, the basket icon will be grey. If you want to learn more about a specific course, there is always a link to the course's description in USOS. You may find out where and when these classes take place, who the lecturer is, 
What will you achieve after completing the classes? What the rules for getting a credit are? What topics will be covered during the meetings? And finally, how many ECTS points you will receive for completing the course? In fact, it doesn't seem as hard as I thought. You said that I can find a registration for my core subjects in the Usos. Are there any others? Yes, there are free choice subjects. They have separate token registration. These are the subjects that are mentioned in your program, but you have more freedom to choose something else apart from your core program. To meet the curriculum requirements, you will receive virtual tokens uh, that are needed to complete the required number of class hours. The first group consists of language courses, which are obligatory for bachelor and long cycle master students. In total, you have four semesters of language classes to complete, which will prepare you to pass the foreign language exam at B1 level or higher. Remember, you cannot pass the exam in the main language of instruction at your program or the official language in your country of origin. Fortunately, the language offer of the University of Warsaw is so wide that you can choose courses in over 40 different languages. What's more, you can mix the languages. For example, take a language course in Chinese, but pass an exam in German. Another group of free choice subjects is PE, physical education. These courses are addressed to students of full-time first circle and long cycle studies. You have three semesters of PE to complete. The sports offer of the University of Warsaw is also very diverse. You can swim, play team games, train martial arts, dance, climb, or learn more niche sports like fencing. All students of the University of Warsaw have to complete general university courses, so-called OGUNs. These are classes which intend to develop your passions and interests beyond your core field of study. So you can attend classes in a completely different field. For example, you study physics and at the same time you go to Ogun in geography. Remember, you don't have to spend all your Ogun tokens. Just check how much Oguns you should pass to get a credit at the end of your studies. Each faculty decides its own rules for crediting Oguns. In your study program, you will find a necessary number of semesters or ECTS points that you need to get for completing the Oguns. Additionally, a faculty may require you to enroll in a particular area of study, for example, science, humanities, or social sciences. As you remember, I told you earlier that all registrations take place on specific dates. It is no different in the case of foreign language courses, PE, or OGUNs. In the schedules of registrations, you will find the phases of individual registrations. It is extremely important to keep an eye on these dates. On the one hand, you don't want to miss any enrollments. On the other hand, it is the only time to unsubscribe from the courses when you have changed your mind. The university always gives you about two weeks to attend classes and make a decision on your participation. What is important in the case of token registrations? There is a limit to the expenditure of tokens per turn. What does it mean? For example, if you register for a language course in the first phase, you cannot spend more tokens than the number necessary to enroll in one language class. So technically, you will not register for the second language course in the same semester. If for any reason you want to change a class, you must first unregister from the first group so that the tokens return to the pool and you can register again. Of course, in the next round you can sign up for more classes. The point is not to block places in classes for others. You can find all token registrations by clicking the Registrations tab in the side panel. The token registration system is a part of USO system. That's why all the functionalities and rules are the same as in the case of program registration. To register... To click to the basket with the green arrow, and when I want to unsubscribe, I need to click to the basket with the red arrow. Just like that! When you go to the registrations panel for a specific group of courses, you will see a list of subjects and available groups. When choosing your courses, always pay attention to when and where they take place, whether they do not clash with your major courses. It sometimes happens that no courses appear on your list. It's when the limit of places in a given group has already been exceeded. Overpopulated groups are not automatically shown. 
but you can view them by clicking the link at the top of the page. Also, sometimes there are too many classes on the list, which makes it difficult to find the courses that are interesting for you. In this case, you can use the advanced search, sorting the courses by a date, teacher or location. What if I find an interesting free choice course but the group is already full? Is there any way for registration? There is a way. In such a situation, you can use the course exchange. However, you have to enroll in a certain group of subjects beforehand. Then you announce that you are interested in a different course or a class group and you want to exchange groups with somebody else. If someone reports the exact same change in the opposite direction, the system will pair you and exchange your seats. Now it seems a lot easier. Thanks for help in explaining the registration process in Usos. You're welcome. Wait, wait, wait. If I forgot how to register for classes, what if I have more questions and technical problems in the Usos? Don't worry, you can always report your technical problems to the person responsible for Usos support at your faculty. If you need any help or you're looking for answers to your questions, you can always write an email or call the welcome point. Also, join the Facebook group Welcome at University of Warsaw, where you can get tips and help from English-speaking students of the University of Warsaw. Maybe someone has been in a similar situation to yours and know how to solve the problem. And remember, you can always turn this movie on again. See you later!